Morning, I'm PC Elliott from Crew. I've been a response cop for nearly 18 years. I'm always in early, not have that stress or get the car, get it loaded, ready to go. And then it gives me about 20, 25 minutes where I just go through and just look, look at any intel that's coming overnight, such as anyone that's wanted, um, any driving things. I'm Georgia, I'm a response sergeant based at Macclesfield in Cheshire. Um, we're currently coming in on an early shift today, working at 7 a.m., 7 p.m. Um, predominantly work two days, two nights. So we'll head in, get our radio and take handover. We'll review any outstanding things that we need to do throughout the day. So it might be custody inquiries for people that have been arrested or domestic abuse, um, arrest that needs to be made, anything that just needs to be tasked to officers throughout the day. So we have a briefing at 7 a.m. at the start of the shift with officers or 7 p.m. if we're on a night shift. That's where we'll give out our taskings, make sure that there's no issues with the team, that everybody's um, all in order, got everything they need to do the shift. Got AMPR on board so we can get any alerts on any drivers that we want to stop as we're driving around. But this is this is a good thing now. That used to be a lot of years gone by with me sitting under a static camera. All the usual stuff really. We've obviously got the cones, fire extinguisher. If it gets to the point where we're using that, and I have used it, things are going disastrously wrong. So just do all your standard car checks. Everything's done, so we're, we're ready to rock and roll. We, I mean, we go to everything, don't we? We are the experts at nothing, but the masters of everything, if that makes sense. From the completely mundane to the completely chaotic. Anything from RTCs to domestics to fights to deaths to shopliftings to stopping cars with, with, with drug drivers. I like to get out as much as I can. Um, I've been a sergeant for 10 months and I really miss doing the response job that I did as an officer. So it's great that I can balance both being a sergeant and being able to get out and be proactive and go and see other members of the block. So as a PC, you look after your own workload, you're responsible for your own crimes that you're carrying. But as a sergeant, I've got the general overview of all of those officers' crimes, of what they're managing, the risk that they're managing. And it is a lot more desk-based than being a PC. So our response to jobs, our first point is always, if you can talk to somebody and you can have a conversation with somebody, we can figure it out. This is hard work. It's long hours and you're constantly on the um, constantly on the go. However, you will not get the adrenaline rush. If you want what you see on the telly, like that kind of road wars, kind of like running around chasing people, this is where you need to be. Response policing is relentless. It doesn't stop. We are here all day, every day, and we work with some absolutely brilliant teams and they all work really, really hard and I think we're under so many pressures that just keep increasing and they all keep working harder and harder each time. My best advice to members of the public, see blue lights and sirens coming towards you, just stop. We will get through, we just need you to stop and we will pick our way through. If you stop dead, I know you see me and I know that I can work my way through. And always just check your mirrors again for a second car because sometimes when you travel in convoy, it might be that officers are backing each other up. So just check that as you go to pull off, there's not a second car coming behind you. It's one of the hardest jobs ever, but it's also one of the best.